Welcome to the Paige Turner Adventures Creative Literacy Program. Filled with crafts and activities that get kids excited about books and reading. So we are going to make a styrofoam airplane, which is fun, it's easy, it's cheap. I like cheap. And it's also a nice project that uh, boys will like, which sometimes can be a challenge. So there's a couple different ways that you can make this. Um, you're going to need to make it some sort of styrofoam. So you can use a styrofoam plate or you can use these, you know, packaged meat trays that, or fruit trays that you might get at the grocery store. Um, you can use a to-go box. Um, today we're going to use the styrofoam plate. You also are going to need the template, which you can download. And you're going to need some markers and you can use some of these little foam sticky shapes if you'd like and also a paper clip. So let's start. First step we're going to do is cut out our template so that we can trace it. Now you'll notice that it's slightly different than the one that I used. Um, I've since, since making this one, I've kind of been playing with the design and modifying it a little bit and trying some different things out. So we're gonna play with this shape a little bit. Now you don't have to cut out these little things, those are just going to be guides um, where you're, to show you where you're going to cut some slits so you can slip the um, wings and tail piece in. And I'm going to cut inside the line for this because I actually made these wings a little bit bigger to fit on a styrofoam tray, so it's going to be a little bit big for my plate, so I'm just going to cut inside the line to make it a hair smaller. And then this is the tricky part. This is something that is a little different than this one. This one does not have a tail piece. We're going to add a tail piece because I find that it helps the plane fly a little bit better. Okay, so now that we have cut out our template, we are going to trace it onto a paper plate. And again, you can use a styrofoam tray or a, a to-go box, um, any of those things will work. If you use the styrofoam tray, it's a little bit thicker. It might be a little bit harder to cut for younger kids. But I'm just going to lay my pieces down on my plate. I'm going to trace them. And I'm going to use a Sharpie to trace these. Now, depending on the age kids you're use, that you're working with, um, you might want to use uh, washable markers. Just be careful with the washable markers on the styrofoam. They don't come out as dark and also um, they have a tendency to kind of come off on your hands a little bit. Okay, so now I have those all traced. And you can see I kind of went up on the edge a little bit there. That's not such a big deal. I'm going to cut on the inside of these lines a little bit as well. Okay, so you've cut out your pieces, now you've got some extra foam left over, some extra styrofoam. So talk about recycling. We're going to use these later for a completely different project in a completely different section, a different module. We're going to do them in Europe. We're going to do a project that we will use these leftover uh, styrofoam pieces for. So hang on to them, set them aside, put them in a paper bag, forget about them, we'll do them, we'll use them later. But right now, we're going to go back to our, the body of our airplane. And we're just going to draw in these little lines and I'm just going to eyeball it. Now this is where you can experiment with where you put your line because that might affect how your plane flies or doesn't fly. The size of your wing you're just going to kind of judge by you're going to be sliding this through so you want it to be at the widest point here. You want it to be only that wide. All right, so now that I have these pieces, I'm going to decorate them. I'm going to put them on another plate so that I don't get any marker on my table. And I'm just going to kind of do some little red edges on my wing. You can decorate it however you want. This is just a fun spot for the kids to start really being creative with their airplanes. Okay. 
Okay, so before we put it together, we have to cut out our slits. Now, this is a part that you want to do for the kids, depending on the age group that you're working with. If you're working with younger kids, you definitely want to do this cutting part for them. You might even want to help them with the cutting of the outside or use safety scissors. But for this part, you're going to just cut these little slits right here. So be careful that you don't cut it um, too close to the edge. I'm just gonna stick my scissors in and watch your own fingers as you're doing this. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the little tailpiece. Okay, so we have that. And now I'm just going to slide my wings right through. I'm gonna do the same thing with my little tail piece. There we go. Now you can leave it like that or you can add some little um, sticky foam pieces. I'm just gonna add a few, but be careful with how much foam you add because that adds weight to your plane and that's gonna really affect how it flies. Okay, now we're almost done one final step and this step is the paper clip step. So you're gonna add a paper clip to the nose of the plane. Now you can play with the placement of this as well when you're flying your plane, because that's going to affect it too. All right, here we go, our maiden voyage. Is it gonna work? Kind of. So experiment, play with the wings, play with the tailpiece, play with the little the little paper clip and that'll kind of, you know, depend on how your plane flies. Good luck, have fun, and enjoy. For more great crafts and activities, visit our blog at pageturneradventures.com.